Good evening, we're here on Channel 21 with uh, Adelaide University and uh, tonight we'll be talking a little bit about emotional intelligence. Uh, we have a number of uh, field reports that we're going to go and have a look at as well as a special guest with us tonight, a man named Dan Goldman who is an absolute expert in this subject. Uh, so sit down, relax and uh, enjoy the show. So firstly, I'd like to thank you, Danny Goldman, for being with us today. Uh, thanks for having me in the studio, Tom. Huh? Yeah, no worries. Okay, so my first question to you is, what is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is the ability to monitor one's own and other people's emotions to differentiate between uh, emotions and level them appropriately. In other terms, it's uh, to use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior. Uh, so what you're trying to say is you can really improve your uh, emotional intelligence, you know, for both that professional uh, life and your personal life. That's, That's good. True. And uh, so you've also done a lot of uh, studies and research. What are some conclusions that you've found from these? Over the past 30 years, um, I've done a lot of research and studies in this field. Uh, uh, what I found was uh, quite uh, impressive. I did a study uh, on 450 boys uh, from their uh, uh, adolescent uh, until they were uh, well into their professional life. I found that uh, from on these 450 boys that IQ in fact had no effect on their success in professional life or personal life but uh, on the other hand EQ or emotional intelligence had great impact on their success in professional life and personal life. So. Uh, it was proven to myself and to the world that uh, emotional intelligence has great impact on, on success both in personal life and professional life. So what you're really saying is that uh, the success that in one's life that they have, uh, emotional intelligence is almost as important as uh, IQ. Definitely, yeah, even more. Even more, okay. So would you now be able to just give us a, a, a nice summary of all of these are aspects of emotional intelligence and how they help for people. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Tom, first thing first, uh, I've built this chart with EI domain and there is uh, five other very important elements in the EI. So the first thing is knowing your own emotions. That's very important. That's the first step. So recognizing your own emotions, so how to control it is the next thing. So manage your emotions. So after you know your emotions, you have to know how to control, how to manage it, so that See. comes into the picture. And then after that, it's very important to recognize others' emotions. So that's at home with your uh, children or with your partner. And also at the workplace, getting along and um, recognizing your co-workers' emotions or your boss's emotions. It's very important. So from there we go to the fourth one, which is managing others' emotions. So you cannot, you not only have control um, on your own emotions, but you can also manage and control others' emotions. So you can change their thoughts, their emotions. From there it goes, motivate yourself. So that's very important. So you have to know how to motiv motivate yourself and, and, um, and keep on learning. That's uh, basically what it means um, in the EI um, domain. Uh, it's a very interesting topic uh, with a lot of uh, in-depth. Um, I'm still working on it, so hopefully I can come up with something better in the next few years. So thank you very much for coming in today and talking to us about emotional intelligence. Thank you, uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting me, Tom. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Daniel Goldman, everyone. What an absolutely marvellous and impressive person who's uh, really founded and uh, his, his experience with emotional intelligence is unparalleled. We're now going to go into the field and talk to uh, some experts in the field uh, with our on-field reporter. Thank you. Thanks Tom. I'm here at the University of Adelaide with Professor Green from the School of Psychology. He's here to tell us a bit about emotional intelligence. So Professor, is it possible for someone to improve their emotional intelligence and if so, how? Yes, you can improve your emotional intelligence by don't judging other people. Also, you can try to put yourself into a different position. You can do like a self-evaluation and try to discover your weakness in order to improve yourself and become a better person. You can always take responsibility for your acts and try to examine how your actions do affect other people. And uh, has improved emotional intelligence been shown to 
affect someone's career in a positive way? Yeah, if you follow these actions of emotional intelligence, people would be able to improve their relationship between co-workers. They can provide like a pleasant work environment and it also helps uh, to develop more competent leaders. You can enhance the staff skills and also ensure better performance at work. Oh, and in addiction, the emotional intelligence can help with safety of workers since they are more willing and focused at work. Thanks very much, Professor. I'm here in Beijing with Senior Engineering Manager, Mr. Rich Monet from the firm Trust Me With Your Steel. Mr. Monet, would you mind telling me how emotional intelligence helped you get to where you are today in your career? Yeah, actually as a Senior Engineering Manager, what matters is to lead my team in the right way. Um, I think that emotional intelligence enables me to succeed in inspiring other people and help them to reach their full potential and daily tasks. In order to achieve this object, I need to communicate with my staff and understand their advantages so I can assign different objects, different you know, tasks to them. Okay, and uh, would you be able to give me an example of uh, emotional intelligence being used? Yeah, of course. We know in a company, especially in engineering area, teamwork is very important for a large project. So um, I need to build a wide variety of relationships for my staff. Uh, for example, in work time, I'm a leading role, but outside work, uh, our relationship is more of a friendship. That's the reason why I'm, I'm welcoming this company. And uh, comparatively speaking, how do you think IQ has helped you uh, get to where you are today with your career? Yeah, I think this is a good question. Um, well, actually, to be honest, I think the IQ helped me a lot. But, you know, in a big company, the emotional intelligence cannot be ignored. That's the reason I can reach the high position today. Well, you hear it, heard it here first today, folks. On the university grounds, talking to an engineering student about how they see emotional intelligence. Would you care to introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Hi, my name is Arbadi, and I'm a civil engineering student in the uni. Okay, so how do you see emotional intelligence helping you out after you've finished your degree? Uh, I've realized that in the real world, it has a lot more to do with interaction with people than just being book smart. So by engaging with others and interaction with people, I feel I'm more capable of working as a team. And uh, how do you think you're going to improve your emotional intelligence uh, over the next couple of years while you're still at university? Uh, I think I'll find a volunteer job and I can have more opportunity to work as a team and to work with other people. And during that time, I will improve my communication with others uh, therefore, I can recognize the weakness and the uh, strengths of myself and I can also know how the real world will operate. Thanks for your time. I'm here today with the Human Resources Manager, Michael Jordan, from the Adelaide-based firm We Build Skyscrapers. Michael, would you please go through with us some of the attributes that you're looking for in potential candidates? Sure. Besides the documents and qualifications that you request from a candidate, there are several other requirements in terms of personality that I take into account. Initially, the first thing uh, that basically grabs my attention is the way that the candidate walks in from the door and what kind of clothing, and, uh, clothing the candidate is wearing and uh, how he basically speaks. Uh, of course, from uh, the first look, there are uh, these are the most obvious and important factors that basically grab my attention. Okay. Um, but how does emotional intelligence come into play with these personal attributes? Well, in terms of the emotional intelligence, when I talk, I talk to a candidate, uh, I look at the positiveness and the attitude of the candidate, basically, and the image of, and the motivation of the candidate. I want to see that the candidate speaks with a lot of energy and confidence and the is able to manage his work in the workplace. Also, the ability to be responsive to others, um, to other people's emotions, and uh, act sensitively. Since in engineering, we have to have meetings and be critical of others' work. All right. 
Thanks, Michael. So there we have it, emotional intelligence. It's been a great topic. Lovely to have Daniel Goldman here with us today, and uh, thank you to all the uh, news reports in the field. Um, and lastly, I'd like to leave you with uh, Channel 21, Adelaide University's uh, Think About Your Emotions a bit before you, you know, do anything. Cheers. <laughs>